Hey there, Hero. It's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and this is the time of year when a lot of us do some reflecting, a lot of us kind of see where we've been, where we're going, make some changes, hopefully for the better. And one of those changes was really put into perspective for me by a statement that I read online I'd never seen it before. And when I saw it, I was like, I got to share this with everybody. And the statement went, if you never heal from what hurt you, you'll bleed on people who didn't actually cut you. And at first blush, it's like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Okay, so you're talking about baggage, right? So when we make changes and when we're able to deal with whatever was before, the corrections of that, the the results of that, the leftover, you know, sort of effects of that, and what we're going to do to make it better. If we deal with that, then there's a very good chance that the people around us will benefit. But if we don't, there can be collateral damage. So, Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that's really painful to you, whatever it is that you bring into new relationships, whatever it is that you um, bring into the casting room with you, whatever that you, you bring to the set with you or to the studio with you, those can be painful and hurtful to um, people that have no idea what you've been through, people that have no clue as to how hard you've worked. And so when you have something that's really important in your life that you want to change, see it all the way through, right? Deal with the pain, deal with the solution if you can find it. If you can't find it, ask for help. Even a good conversation with someone you trust can be so helpful. But do be careful that if you don't do that work, if you don't find out what it is that it's going to take to help you completely heal from it, you could inadvertently hurt someone else who had no clue what was coming, you know? Um, We've all seen very comedic scenes in sitcoms where somebody absolutely blows their gasket and everybody around them is like, whoa, what happened? What just happened there? You know, why did this happen? Because they have no idea what went on beforehand. And, you know, one of the most famous scenes is is Billy Crystal in in uh, When Harry Met Sally, and he's looking at the wagon wheel um, uh, uh, coffee table, and he said, and before you know it, you're going to be arguing over a table you don't want at the offices of that is mine and this is yours. Uh, or words to that effect. I don't remember the exact line, but it was hysterical. And it's like, you know, where did that come from? Where did that come from? It came from a point of not healing. It came from a point of not actually dealing completely with something. And it's hard to know when you're done. It's hard to know when you really are able to say, okay, I did that. I got finished with it. But that's what this time of year, I believe, is for, is for thinking about those things. And I hope that some of the things that we've talked about this year have helped you uh, do just that. And that's just my hope. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I appreciate you uh, liking these videos. I appreciate the kind words that you have. I appreciate you signing up for my list. That's really nice of you to do that. Um, I love sharing these things with you. And I thank you so much for your kindnesses. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you tomorrow.